Today's video, we're going to carry on with some more selection based topics in Mastercam. And this time we're going to be looking down this right side of the graphic screen and having a look at our quick mask option. Now, before we hop into this video, after you watch it, if you enjoyed it, found it useful, found some good information, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you do like these videos and want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, be sure to subscribe and also click the bell notification beside it so you won't ever miss any videos when we do post them. options seen here on the right side of the graphic screen. Now quick masks are another tool in your selection toolbox for limiting what you're going to pick or to quickly select a particular type of an object. So in these buttons, you'll notice there's two halves to each button. So each button will have either a select all or a select only. So let's have a look at how this select all versus select only works first, and then we'll jump into uh, each of the quick mask types here. So on screen, I've got a solid model, I've got some wireframe geometry, and I've also got some surfaces. So what I'm gonna do here right now is just quickly select everything that is a wireframe piece of geometry. So in the wireframes here, this is obviously the wireframe guy here. We've got a top half, which is select all, and a bottom half, which is select only. So I'm gonna click on the top half, and notice anything that is wireframe, whether that's an arc, a circle, or a line, will be selected. I'm just gonna hit escape to clear that selection. And then I'm gonna click on the bottom half this time, which is select only, and nothing gets automatically selected, but when I come into my graphic screen and start clicking, I'm left clicking right now and nothing is getting chosen because my cursor is over top of a solid. Same here, I'm over top of a surface, it's still not being selected, but anytime I click on a piece of wireframe, it will be selected. Same thing goes if I want to window select a bunch of items with the only wireframe selected, when I do that window select, only wireframe geometry will get selected, even though there's underlying uh, objects such as surfaces and solids. So again, I'm just going to click on escape to clear that selection. I can turn off this wireframe only by clicking on it again. And that clears that selection mode. So let's now run down the different types. So this top one is points. Obviously, that will select only points. I don't have any points on screen, but I can obviously just lay down a couple pretty quick here. And select all points would do exactly what you suspect it would do, which would select all the points. Next one is all lines. So anything that's a straight line, again, this is still wireframe geometry. Next one down is arcs. Arcs will select circles and uh, arcs, so full circles and non-full circles. So keep that in mind. Next down is spline. Uh, I got a couple splines here from when I did the, uh, the cover creation. So those are our splines. And below that is all wireframes. So anything that's found in the wireframe tab, splines, lines, arcs, everything, will get selected with this one. Next one down is dimensions for selecting your dimensions. Next up is surfaces. There you can see the surfaces I have in this part. Next down is solids. And below that we've got some color options here. I do have some wireframe geometry. Uh, it is associated with the solid model, so I'm just gonna make some some temporary geometry here real quick. I'll just make a rectangle right here. We'll have a look at these color options and how these things work. So basically when you're in Mastercam and you do a transform, let's say I do a translate and I'm gonna translate all this stuff and I'm gonna move it over here somewhere. Uh, I am set to a copy here, so I'm gonna get the original plus the copy. I'm gonna hit okay. Notice the colors of these entities. I drew it, it was black wireframe geometry. Uh, the original is now red and the result is now this purplish pinkish color. So that's where these buttons over here now come into play. So if I wanted to, again, do some more manipulation with this geometry here, maybe I wanted to rotate it, or maybe I wanted to translate it yet again, uh, I can quickly select this geometry by just clicking this button, select all result entities, and it will select that stuff there. So if it was a, re a result of a transform type movement, I can easily reselect it again by with this clicking uh, this button here. I'm gonna hit escape to unselect. And if I wanted to then, you know, manipulate the original geometry again. That's this one here. Select all group entities, and it will quickly select that original transform geometry again. So two useful buttons there as well. Next one down is, is groups themselves. So let me just clear this off for a minute here. Let's clear colors. Okay. And in the group manager, if we had created some groups and, and saved some geometry into it, we could quickly select that group from the group manager selection. 
Uh, more on group managers in another video, but basically it's just a way to create a group. Group one, I can select these two pieces of geometry to be in that group. Okay, so let's just clear colors here. And if I do a group, I can just double click on this and it quickly selects that group geometry. Next one down is to select things by colors. So I can select uh, all entities by colors. So anything that is one of these three colors. I've only got three colors on the screen right now, the black wireframe, the orange wireframe and orange surfaces, and my, uh, my grayish uh, solid. So if uh, I wanted to select anything that was orange, click on that, everything orange is now selected. And continuing down the list below the colors, we have levels. So here I can do select all by levels. I've only got three levels used in this file, uh, but I can pick basically what level I want to select on and it will select everything on that level. I could also do that from the levels manager and just come in on a level and right click and select the entities. As with most things in Mastercam, there's usually more than one way to do a certain task. So below that, we've got the select all advanced. So now in here, if there's a certain combination of these you wanted to apply, this is where you can get 100% control over what you want to quickly select. Uh, you can select by wireframe, colors, levels, uh, everything in combination with each other. Uh, so definitely useful there if there's a specific type of selection you need to do. Let's have a look at the bottom icon now, which the top half is clear selection and the bottom half is clear all masking. So first up, let's say we have a bunch of things selected here. We can come down and click the top half and this will clear everything that's currently selected. Uh, as mentioned before though, we can also just use the escape key now the bottom half of this, let's say you're in a scenario where you had uh, several masks turned on. Maybe you wanted to select only line entities as well as a specific color. And so with this turned on, we can make some selections. And now if we wanted to go and pick something else that would have a combination or even only one of these used, right now we would have to come up and deselect each of these and then re-enable whatever it is we wanted to turn back on. So with the bottom half of this button to clear all of the current active mass, we can just click this bottom here, clear all masking, and then reselect what it is we want to go for and pick, and then carry on. So that covers our quick mask selection icons located in the graphics screen.